everybody. My name is Rob Anderson. I'm here on the Las Vegas Strip tonight with Warren and Madi, and I picked you guys. I'm gonna show you a little bit of magic. Uh, you look like you're a couple, maybe date night, maybe? Yes? Uh -huh. You're together? Uh -huh. All right, if you said brother and sister, I feel so awkward, I'm gonna walk away. Uh, <laughs> no, no. no you're, you're, you're together, right? Yeah. Okay, good, all right. Uh, how long, how long have you been together? Uh, four years. No kidding? That's great. Congratulations on that, that's good. Good amount of time to be together. So that means about four years ago, you guys went on some of your first dates, got to know each other, learned you liked each other, held hands. I wanna take you back to your first dates with our first trick, okay? So for this, I'm gonna hand you a card. So uh, three, of, three of spades there. Warren, could you hold a hand out so I can hand you this card? And uh, Madi, I'm gonna have you put your hand on top of Warren's here, okay? Put your hand on top of that, Madi. Either hand, there you go, yeah. So you're sort of holding hands there, like those first dates where you felt a little bit of magic, right? I've got another card. We'll use the Ace of Hearts, which is better for you. You're in love for years together. Just tell me, did you feel that? Yes? Yeah. Did you feel that? But did you feel that? Oh. Ooh. Look. Oh. hey -o. We're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. Hearts are better for you, see? I, um, I made a prediction. Before we get to that prediction, though, let's do this. Uh, Warren and Madi, sort of like each other's king and queen, so to speak, sort of. I don't know if you call each other that, but for the purposes of this trick, you're each other's king and queen. Are you on board? Yeah. You will be in a second. Cool. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about you, Warren. You're the king for this trick. Beautiful lady, beautiful view. You should feel like a king, okay? This is all about you. I would like you to just reach in here, pick a card, take any card out you want. doesn't matter which one. Memorize it, show the camera, don't show me. Show, show everybody. And then when you're ready, just say stop anywhere you want. Stop. Right there, put it back on top. But look, I don't know what the card is, I don't know where it is. I do know that it's somewhere near the middle. Imagine this, Warren, our king. If I could reach in here and take out one card, turn it upside down, put it back in, that would mean there's an upside down card in this deck of cards, and that would mean that upside down card is the Five of hearts. No, not his card. Whoops. All right, we're gonna fix it. No, 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 five of hearts, just an indicator card. Indicates I was wrong. Also indicates though, if we go down one, two, three, four, five cards, we should come to the seven of clubs. Woo, that's better, that's better, that's better. It's not the cool part, don't worry, it gets better. It gets better, it gets better. Finding the card's never the cool part. Because I said this trick was all about you. Okay. Mighty's king. Warren, these four cards here all represent Warren, who is tonight's king. That's for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. And that would make Madi your queen. Let's talk about the queen real quick, okay? Madi, I have four cards here that I took out earlier. They are queens. I'm not gonna show you just yet. Um, I made a prediction on the queens. It's a two-part trick, actually. It has to do with your compatibility. Four years together. I think you've learned you're very compatible by now. Uh, Madi, I don't want you to think it's sleight of hand. Could you hold these for me? Just cup them just like this. Don't let them move. Freeze just like that. Perfect. So you're, you're holding the queens right now. Again, two-part trick. It has to do with your compatibility. Your first ones. Madi. Warren just shows the hearts and diamonds, the red cards. Now, you can keep either one of those. Which one would you like, the heart or the diamond? Heart. The hearts over the diamonds. Love over money, hearts over diamonds. She's a keeper. She's a keeper. Look, I predicted one card, no funny moves. I actually thought you would want the queen of hearts, so I turned the queen of hearts up for you guys. Our compatible couple right here, working so well together on that. Took it from a totally different deck of cards. I knew you'd want that, that's how sure I was. And I knew we'd need the Queen of Hearts, and I knew that we wouldn't need any other cards at all. So that's the only one I brought, was the Queen of Hearts for Warren and Madi, our compatible couple here today. Thank you. This next trick is kind of about memories you've made, and four years together you've made a lot of very happy memories. Some memories are so powerful that some people say you can almost develop like a sixth sense when you have a really strong bond over like a really good memory. Like one person feels something and the other person knows about it. And seems a little weird. I don't know if you guys have ever felt this way before, but I'd like to try to recreate that between you two tonight, okay? So I just would like you each to look at each other and think about a time where you felt really happy with each other, very happy. I'm not gonna try to guess this or say it, by the way. 
As you think about that, just kind of remember those happy feelings that you felt, that happy energy that washes over when you think about that, okay? And uh, Madi, your eyes will stay open for all of this, okay? Warren, just trust me a second. I'd like you just to close your eyes for a moment. Keep them closed. Nothing funny is going to happen. I'm not going to do anything funny to you. Um, just keep thinking about those happy memories that you've made together, okay? We're just going to transfer a little bit of energy between you both. Warren, with your eyes closed, Madi watching the whole thing, we're just going to take some of your energy right here from those memories, those happy, good memories, and we're going to move it over here to where Warren is. That's as weird as it gets. That's it. We're going to do it one more time, though. Just pay attention to everything going on around you, everything you hear and feel as we take some happy energy and we drop it right over here. Now, this part's going to matter in a second. Warren, open your eyes. Being honest, did you peek? Good. While your eyes were closed just now, did you feel anything touch you anywhere? Really? You felt something touch your nose? Did I touch his nose? Uh, yeah. I touched his nose? Uh, no. No. <laughs> really? I didn't touch his nose. Oh, no. Did I touch your nose? Uh, yeah, you did. I touched your nose, uh -huh. but I did not touch him. No. But you felt it. Yeah. You really felt it. Just a little touch in your nose, yes? And all I did was a little touch to your nose, right? Uh -huh. I don't know what sort of memory that was, but tell each other later on what you thought of. I think we just created a little sixth sense between you guys. Oh. Later on, you have to share with each other what you thought of. It's a very, it's a bonding memory for you. You've given each other some gifts over the years, probably. And uh, Marty, maybe there's a gift you'd like to receive tonight from Warren. Warren, maybe there's a gift you'd like to, maybe there's a gift you'd like to give to Marty tonight. I don't know what it is, but Marty, think about a gift you'd like to receive. Um, Something small, not nothing, nothing too big. It's got to fit in the pouch here. Uh, Warren, could you hold a hand out just like this and put it down inside that empty pouch? Now, be honest, it's empty, yes? Okay. I'd like you to turn your palm up for me, okay? And as you turn your palm up, I just want you to imagine a gift that you would like to give to your special lady right here. So you can think about it so you can almost see it, yes? You can almost feel it appearing in your hand, yes? Whatever that gift is, I think Warren, You'll know what to do from there. Oh, body. Yeah. Are you marrying me? <laughs> Is that a yes or a no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to wear it? Oh, do I put on it? What? Alright. Oh, does it fit? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hey, it's Rob, and I wanted to let you know that our DIY proposal kits, they contain every romantic thing you need to stage your own proposal. They're now shipping at MagicalProposals.com. Go check them out.